the most American of holidays, even with storms in the forecast, many families still plan to celebrate the 4th of July with cookouts, cold drinks, fireworks. That's right, but not Dr. Ali Raja. He's deputy chair of the <laughs> Department of Emergency Medicine at Mass General. And like us, he is working this week. Dr. Raja, good to see you. Happy 4th of July. You too, Ben and Erica. Yes, happy 4th. So as you know, it's a long weekend for most people, but it's typically one of the busiest work days for you and the ER staff. So what types of emergencies are you most likely to see? I know you're going to say fireworks. Well, yeah, you're right, Erica. So first of all, though, you're also right about it being super busy. It turns out that the 4th and the 5th of July are actually the busiest days of the year for ER visits all around the country. And, and like you said, they're mostly due to fireworks related injuries. But here's the thing. So while half of all fireworks related injuries do occur in early July, we also see swimming related injuries like diving accidents or drownings. Um, but here's the good news with all the storms this week. I'm actually hoping we'll see a lot fewer of those. Yeah, because the weather has not been that great uh, to get in no. the water. All right, Dr. Raja, let's talk though specifically about fireworks for a moment. Of course, they are legal to buy or use in Massachusetts, but nationally the misuse of fireworks last year caused 11 deaths and more than 10,000 injuries. So what's most common here? Burns, I would imagine. You guys are great at guessing this stuff. You know this really well. so, so Ben, you're right, it's mostly burns, but we also see some people who fall and get fractures of their bones or, or loose fingers in their hands from explosions. Ooh. But it turns out, and, and I don't know if you'd guess this, the most common area that we see injured for firearms, or fireworks actually, is actually the eyes, followed by the rest of the face and then the hands. So it really is possible to put your eye out. Oh my goodness. Okay, so obviously if someone loses a finger, has an eye injury, you want to see them in the ER. But what about patients with other complaints? What should they know before they arrive? Well, Erica, it, like we talked about, it's one of the busiest days to come to the ER. So you might experience some longer wait times. So if you think that you can be seen at your primary care's office or an urgent care, please go see them. But don't worry. If you think you've got an emergency, you should still definitely come see us. The ERs all across the street have, we've got great triage nurses and we're gonna get you seen quickly no matter what if something serious is going on. So don't be afraid to come in and see us if you're really concerned. We certainly have great healthcare here, Dr. Raja, and we thank you and all your colleagues for working this weekend, keeping us all safe.